Hello there. This is the newest Scotsman I've got. I uh, did mention I was going to do another video in my previous video. So uh, here goes. <laughs> this is Hornby's Flying Scotsman British Rail Brunswick Green. But unlike my other one, it does not have the smoke deflectors. It's fairly obvious. It's Hornby number R2054. Flying Scotsman obviously is 60103. Then the reason it's 60103 and not anything to do with 4472 is because basically late LNER uh, there was a couple of na uh, number changes. So Flying Scotsman went from 4472 to 502 and within four months was renumbered again to 103. When British Rail took over all the locomotives from LNER they prefixed every single one with 60. So 103 became 60103. And they obviously went through a couple of livery changes. So it went from Apple Green um, to British Rail Express Blue. And to as it is here, Bronze with Green. Now this one doesn't have the smoke defectors on. However, it has got the double chimney. So this is going to be a late... 19 mid to late 1950s version of Scotsman as you can see if I move closer it is a super detailed one it does say there you can see it's got the little cab doors it's got the floor it's not the kind of detail they're used to now so the, the top doesn't have opening and closing bits the the coal is not removable it is a non corridor tender And it is tender drive, so the motor is in there exactly the same as any other tender driven A3, A1 or even A4. Moving along to the front, you can see as it's got that double chimney and we've got this plate just behind it here. That's one of the main distinguishing features of an A3 from an A1. The A3 boilers were slightly different. And they did tend to obtrude through the smoke box, which is why that plate is added on there. The other, the other difference is it has got this vacuum pipe just underneath the handrail here, which meant the driver would have been sat just there. It's a left-hand drive. As I said, the A3s adapted left-hand drive to make the driver's job easier and to increase the safety of the passengers. It made the fireman's job a lot harder. But safety is paramount. It does also have the banjo shaped dome, which obviously the A1 had the just a little small round one, which was a little bit further forward. The firebox is bigger as well on the A3. The doesn't slope down as much there. If you look at some of the other A1 models, you'll see it will dip down there. Other than that, it's a very simple model. It's very basic, very what you'd expect really from a Hornby model. It is uh, obviously a few years old, so when it says super detail, back in those days it would have been very sort of high detail. Compared to what they are now, it's not quite as high. The mechanism itself is exactly the same as everything else. You've got the black wheels, you've got all the connecting rods were at one point painted black. Um, obviously this one has been used, and uh, quite heavily by the look of it so it has obviously corroded them moving around to the front you can see on the door there 60103 hopefully it'll focus in there you go and you have got the double chimney and obviously you can see the very iconic steam engine boiler running plate wheels with the German smoke deflectors on the other model, it does look a little odd, but some people remember the Scotsman that way, and some remember her just as as she is now, just a simple Scots, uh, simple bodied loco. I'm trying to get the camera to fully focus. Oh, it goes, there we go. That took a while. Have a quick look in the cab. The uh, seats for the driver is just to here. It is mounted already in there. 
and it does connect quite closely but it will pull out for instance if you went into reverse but obviously when you're when the loco is going it's pushing it so it does close that gap up quite a nice realistic gap it's about what they usually are so again this is just another quick video on the scotsman i'm glad to have it now i have all of the british rail versions of flying scotsman all three of them and uh my collection i think is up to about 12 locomotives now thank you for watching please uh comment rate and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon.